Hey everyone, this is Android 14 Beta 3 on my Pixel 7a over here and Pixel 7 Pro is running Android 13 with the latest stable update, May security patch as of now. So just let's quickly get looking at the update version. You can see here it's Android version 14. I'm running the public beta over here and there are a lot of user facing changes finally. This video is going to be a roundup of all the changes and obviously in comparison with the latest Android 13 update as well on my Pixel 7 Pro over here. Spoiler alert, there are a lot of customization changes. We are going to look at them very soon. So with all that said, this shares and let's check these out. So let's straight away dive in. The customization changes is the first thing which is which you're gonna see and particularly the lock screen customizations. To dive in, you can straight up go to the wallpaper and style section of both of these. Here you can see a lot of differences in how the palettes are presented to you. The latest wallpapers also pop up which don't in the stable update as of now. And you can see the pill icon for all the toggles having a border as well, which is in the case over here in the stable update. So let's quickly dive into the lock screen updates and the first thing you have are the clock styles. The clock styles are the biggest change over here and you can see a lot of type of clock styles. There are nine to be precise and stay tuned till the end of the video if you want the lock screen animations regarding these as well because they are really nicely baked in and on the 90 hertz panel of the Pixel 7a it looks really great. So there are more color settings for the clock as well and the size. So the first thing is going to be according to the material you theme you have set here. You can see the theme selected and when you go in that's the default. In size, you have option for small and dynamic. The preview unfortunately is not coming out over here. That's a bug at this moment. In the dynamic mode, it changes as per it already does. So, you know, when you go into the lock screen, you see a two line clock right now. But if you have notifications, the clock shrinks and goes to the top left corner, right? And that's what dynamic means. But in small, it will default to the corner clock as you can see in this particular case. Now, you have options to set it from here itself, which is pretty good. But the next level of customization is going to be you have a lot of preset colors from which you can choose from. So, for example, if I choose this, you can even choose the color tone with this brightness slider over here. As of now, let's go with this particular lock screen as well. And you can change the wallpapers right from here just for the lock screen. So let's say if I change the wallpaper, this wallpaper will change only for the lock screen. If I go to home screen, you can see it's the previous wallpaper. Let's revert it back to have continuity over here. Also for the lock screen, if you're selecting separate wallpapers, you can also go through all the themes that you have in terms of color palettes in the material you theming plan. And here you have a lot more number of palettes as well. Over here, you only have a max of 16. But here you have a lot more and you can scroll through a lot of them. Also, you had basic colors before and you could get, you know, two tone colors as well in Android 13 as of now. But over here, when you go to other colors, you have basic colors and a lot more two tone options as well. Also, the toggle for dark theme was right in the forefront of the wallpaper and style app over here, which is now under the color section. So you can toggle into light mode right from here. So let's go with the default color over here and move ahead. What you also get now in addition is going to be that you can choose the notification level and uh, security permission right from here, which is a quick way to access it. Also, you get shortcuts. Now, this is a much awaited change. The way I like this being represented is when you have the left shortcut uh, selected, you can see everything has been darkened out and only this is highlighted. Similarly, if I select right, this is how it looks. Unfortunately, you don't have third party app support over here. You only have a few uh, supported right now with system apps and system resources only. Hopefully this will open up to third party apps very soon and we can have a next level of customization. One thing that changed due to this particular lock screen shortcut is if I lock the screen on both these devices, you can see by default, I have the home app over here on Android 13 as well. When I just tap on it, it will open to the home app. But what happens here is, you have to tap and hold it and then only it opens. So for example, if I just tap it, you can see touch and hold for shortcut. It will just nudge over here, give this animation. Same with the flashlight. I think this is a good move because, you know, a, a lot of times accidentally with the corner of my palm, even when I had the phone in my hand, it used to trigger the home shortcut over here, which won't happen over here. 
Speaking of which, you can see the animation from the always on display to the lock screen and the movement into the uh, home screen as well. So if I tap and hold over here, you will get one nice haptic feedback and the flash is on. Same thing, I can just tap and hold over here for it to turn off. The haptic feedback is really nice, which helps in you knowing that if you have activated it or not. Obviously, you have the at a glance widget to turn it off with as well as a shortcut. So very quickly, you can see all the clock themes over here. They look really nice and are intuitive with their own individual animations, which I will show at the end of the video. So here's another lock screen animation. You don't have to hit apply or anything. It will just get implemented by its own. Let's go to the always on display. You only have the stroke setting over here, but it fills up with the color very soon and you go into the home screen very quickly. Now this was one of the most exciting changes right now over here, but there are a few more changes as well. So let's quickly go into the settings over here. And if I go into any menu with toggles, you can see that the toggle for airplane mode over here has a circular ring around it, which changes and it's kind of different. Also one more thing, I don't know if you have noticed till now, is the back button over here. You can see that this is how the back button looks while you execute the gesture. But over here it's a, but here it's a filled color with another uh, icon and a color style matching your material you theming. It's not just a blank white uh, arrow icon like over here in the stable version. So now I have reverse wireless charging on on my Pixel 7 Pro and you can see that there is a small pill shaped notification on the top right of the screen saying about the battery status and that it's charging right now. And one more thing that didn't happen before is that if you tap on the clock over here in Android 13 right now in the stable version, nothing happens. But this can act as a clock shortcut for you if you tap from the quick settings menu. It can be expanded or minimized as well. You can still hit it and go into the clock app. One more small change is that when you hit the battery saver over here, it directly turns on with the animation. But over here, it actually opens up another card to help you select if you want standard battery saver and extreme battery saver with a setup shortcut as well. So you can hit setup and select all the apps you want in uh, to be working in extreme battery saver mode. And that's going to be really helpful. Another small little detail is when you hit the screenshot button, you can see how the icons have kind of changed and become bigger and more accessible over here in Android 14 beta 3. But this is how it looks in the stable update right now. And finally, circling back to the lock screen, let's go in from the settings over here, go to display and then let's go to lock screen. You can see all the similar options, but what happens when you hit shortcuts is still again, you are jumped into the same menu where you can set up the shortcuts you want for the left and the right corner and you go back to the lock screen display as well. One small thing I noticed is I actually got an update for the emoji workshop wallpaper over here. Now Google showed it off in Google IO. Unfortunately, it's still not working. It's not showing up in my wallpaper section. This is probably a hint for it coming out with the stable release of Android 14 as well. And now let's just set the wallpaper real quickly to the same wallpaper in both the phones and see the changes in the material view settings over here. Yeah about it go home and now i can dive into the wallpaper and style setting and see the changes in the material you themes so for example these are the material you themes i have over here you can see they are pretty different in the android 13 stable version and also less in number you can see a lot more themes over here definitely more than 16 themes you could get similar themes just like this. So for example, I think this is kind of similar, but not exactly the same. But you had separations of, you know, vibrant colors and con complementary colors over here, which is a bit mixed up over here. So maybe that segregation would help. And also in the basic colors, you can see some suggestions of two tone colors over here, which are a little different than what it is over here. Now that that's done, let's show a quick glimpse of all the wallpaper and always on display animations on Android 14 beta 3. Mm -hmm. 